Hey, buenos dias, que onda, que paso amigos, John's Motor Garage, welcome back to the channel. I did a video recently responding to Yami Noob, talking about nine things only Harley riders do. And you know, there's a lot of negative stereotypes about us Harley riders out there. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to come up with my own compilation of things that real Harley riders actually do. Because I haven't seen a lot of videos from actual dudes who ride Harleys. Now for the record, I totally understand Yami Noob, that was all in good humor and joking around. I get it, I actually really enjoyed that video and I had fun responding to it as well. But anyway, here's from a guy who actually rides a Harley. Five things that only real Harley riders do. Let's jump into it. Alright, number one, real Harley riders do not care what you ride. I don't care if you're on a Sportster, Road Glide, Dyna, Super Glide. Street glide, tri glide, it really doesn't matter to me. In fact, I don't even care if you're not on a Harley Davidson. It's not what you ride, it's the fact that we get to ride. I mean, isn't that the idea? Having fun riding on a motorcycle? And you've got tons and tons of examples of this. Let's look to the great Shade Tree Surgeon. He rides his Harley FXR, but he also has a Triumph Rocket. In addition to that, he's got a Honda Goldwing. You can also look at the infamous Jackie's Moto Garage. By night, she rides around on the Harley Davidson Iron 883, and by day, she rocks it on the Triumph Bonneville. Heck, you'll even find her on a Suzuki DRZ. Or even better, the notorious, the notorious Yami New. He hits the track on his Triumph 675, but when it comes to cruisers, his cruiser of choice is the Harley Davidson Sportster Iron 883. He loves it so much that he's even given it away. And you've got Adam Sandoval, rocks around on the Harley, tours the entire country, but he's also got an Indian. Actually, I don't know if he still has the Harley, but I knew at one point, at one point, he had a Harley and an Indian. Oh, and how could I forget Brian 636, man, kills it on a stunt bike and kills it just as, just as bad on the Harley Nightster. I think one of the best examples of this is with the stunt scene, because you see the dudes on sport bikes, naked bikes, supermotos, dirt bikes, and freaking Harleys all out there riding together, having a fun time. They just don't care, man. It doesn't matter what you're riding. And it's like having different pairs of shoes, you know? You're not going to knock the dude who has dress shoes for the wedding, but also wears tennis shoes and skateboard shoes and all kinds of other shoes, depending on the occasion. All right, number two no man left behind i've seen time and time again within the harley community when somebody's down when somebody needs help when somebody's hurt or injured or just needs that extra hand the community comes together and helps out over the weekend one of the gnarliest riders i know jeff b trolling up in nevada had a really really bad crash and he almost lost his leg and even almost lost his life he had an open fracture nicked an artery and was bleeding out if it hadn't been for his fast thinking and fast acting he actually took his belt and tied a tourniquet on his leg. Had it not been for that, he probably would not be with us here today. Anyway, within 24 hours, somebody had put together a GoFundMe page for him. And within another 24 hours from that, half the funds had already been raised for Jeff B. Trollin. He's a, he's a father, a husband, a hardworking dude, and could definitely use the help. So I'm putting a link below to that. If you're able to and you want to, feel free to send him a couple bucks. It is much appreciated. When I first got a Harley and started riding around, one of the first dudes to reach out to me was Ryan Cruzy, here local in Phoenix. He saw that there was a dude in the East Valley ripping wheelies and he subscribed to my channel. He hit me up on Instagram and basically said, hey man, if you ever need anything, hit me up. All right, point number three. The riders don't just support their community, but they actually branch out and support the community in general, the community as a whole. There's tons of biker clubs, and I personally will probably never join an actual biker club, but you've got tons of clubs that go out there and help fight against child abuse, help fight against animal abuse. They do charity runs, poker runs. They donate funds to different charities and organizations. They help out the homeless. Again, look at Adam Sandoval, who does you know, toy runs for Christmas. You got Brian 636. Look at Matt. He's the owner of Rebel Reaper here local in Arizona. Great example. He does toy runs, uh, donates toys around Christmas time. In addition to that though, he actually did a hashtag save the children donation where all out of their own pocket, they made a bunch of shirts, sold the shirts, and 100% of the proceeds were donated to that cause to uh, save the children. And again, that's Matt with Rebel Reaper. Hey, shout out, bro. Also a dude, when I first got into this, send me a gloves for free, man, for free. And that's something I wanna do a little bit more on the channel and just in general is being able to support the community 
uh, here in my area. So I've tried to do that with my pay it forward rides. And I've had a lot of people reach out and say, dude, this is a cool idea. I like it. I want to help and I want to pitch in. And so at some point, I'll find a way for you guys, if you want to, to pitch in on those rides as well. Here's the trick, man. The trick to the wheelie game. If you're struggling, take some air out of the tire. Oh, those rotors are hot. That's another thing for sure any real Harley rider knows. You got to be careful out there. You may lose your horn. Hey, new, who needs a horn anyway, though? Am I right? You don't need a horn. You just rev the engine, bro. Oh, thanks, dude. It's a 2000 FXDX. So it's a super, oh, yeah, super glide sport Dyna. You have a good day, right? Yeah, you as well, man. Later, man. All right, point number four, dude, us Harley riders, we know how to have a fun time. Now, everybody's definition of fun is different, and that's the cool thing. We don't care, dude. Whether you have fun just cruising along, enjoying the scenery, going for the occasional, you know, laid-back ride, or if you have fun scraping pegs, hitting the canyons, or if you have fun rocking wheelies, doing donuts, and all that nonsense. It's like a contagious fun. You know that dude who walks in the room, or that person who walks in the room, and they're just like, bam, they radiate, like, happiness, and positivity it's kind of like that where you just see it and it's like bam dude that's what i want to be doing man i want to be riding a harley bro that's a fun thing to ride dude i'm digging the bike man whoops wrong man <laughs> you're good you know you get the idea man we like to have fun now truth be told i think that goes across the board for pretty much anybody on a motorcycle am i right and fun it is fun it is and then last but not least all of us Harley riders spend way too much money on our motorcycles. And it's not necessarily that Harleys are more expensive, but it's that we love and are passionate about the ride, man. It's like the motorcycle is an extension of us. It's an accessory. It's a part of us, man. If we could, we'd probably have the motorcycle parked in our living room. I know some people do park the motorcycle in their living room. But yeah, end of the day, man, we spend way too much money on our bikes, whether it's the Dyna building that ultimate performance Dyna or the club Dyna, or if it's the bagger boy building the ultimate performance bagger. <sighs> we know how to drop way too much money on these things. And uh, oftentimes we spend a little bit more money than we should. But like I said, at the end of the day, it all comes down to it's a blast. Now, truth be told, I think all of these all of these apply not just to a quote-unquote real Harley rider, but to any real motorcycle rider in general. Motorcycle riding is not some elite, exclusive group that only certain people are allowed to join. It's for everybody, man. And just the fact that we ride on two wheels makes us a part of this kind of, this community, this team. And it's a cool community and it's a community that goes outside of its own confines and also helps out the surrounding community and tries to have a positive impact and a positive influence so i hope anybody watching these videos knows that again i don't care what you ride i don't even care why you ride i don't care how you dress i don't really care what kind of riding you do I think it's rad that we are lucky enough to be able to ride motorcycles and have a fun time doing it. And if nothing else, we have at least that one thing in common. And that's pretty cool. So if you ever see me out there riding, feel free to jump aboard. Feel free to join me. Feel free to tag along. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Are there any anything I missed out? Do you agree or disagree with me? Anything you think should be added to the list, drop a comment below, let me know. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one, John's Motor Garage. Like and subscribe if you dig it. You can follow me on Instagram at John's Motor Garage. And adios, hasta luego, nos vemos. R con R cigarro, R con R carril. Que rápido corren los carros cargados de azúcar de ferrocarril. Un tigre, dos tigres, tres tigres. Un tigre, dos tigres, tres tigres. Tres tristes tigres tragan trigo en un trigal. Tres tristes tigres. Tres tristes tigres tragan trigo en un trigal. Oh, 
what's this? What's this, dude? Oh, I gotta catch up to those guys. Gotta catch up to those guys. I don't think it's gonna happen though. Dang it. You got a four-wheeler and like four dirt bikes over there. Come on, you guys. Hurry, 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 man. I gotta make a U-turn here. To oh, no U-turns. Shoot, 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 shoot. Fine. Fine. I'll respect the law, dog. I won't do a U-turn there, but I certainly will, like that guy, do a U-turn up here. I didn't see which way they went. So 